Hey, doll faces. Tonight is Face Map Friday, number five. Give everybody time to get in here. We're one minute early tonight, but we're here. <laughs> Hello. Make sure you say hi and give me a thumbs up. Let me know who's all here. Hello. We have the vegan cuts that came in today. Hey, well, welcome. I'm happy that you made it to Face Mask Friday. This is party number five. Hopefully you brush your face mask. I got mine right here. You're going to have to bear with me tonight. Oh, my goodness. I'm a trooper. <laughs> I was sitting here about 30 minutes ago. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm not going to be able to do Face Mask Friday. I have been so sick today. I have been throwing up sick all day. And um, it's been horrible. Well, I can't say all day, but I've been... I'm getting the morning sickness. I am. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Um, I'm starting to feel the, I'm starting to feel it. And I know I wore this last Friday, but I'm like, this is the only thing that's keeping me comfortable. So, <laughs> hey, Kelly, thank you for making it. Let's give everybody time to get in here tonight. Whew, like I said earlier, it's, it's finally hitting me. So I'm starting to get the morning sickness and, um, it's not too fun. <laughs> I did get, hold on, let me make sure I didn't show you. I did get my prenatals. I am taking them. And um, they prescribed me folic acid with my prenatals. And I have folic acid in my prenatals. So um, do I take both? I don't know. I got to call and ask my doctor. Or I uh, I go actually, um, that's why I want to talk to y'all when y'all get in here. Um I go the 11th and I find out more. I have my first ultrasound. I will start eating more crack. I, somebody's told me to eat crackers and drink ginger ale. And um, I did get, uh, I finally got some stool softeners. <laughs> needed them. <laughs> really needed them <laughs> in my life. And um, it, it's, it's working out. Hello, Christine. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, it's um okay. Let me ask you all this. Okay, so I had my blood work done the, on June first, the very first appointment I ever went to. I have a video up on all that stuff, but um I haven't. I don't think I have that video up yet. I haven't recorded, but I haven't got to it yet. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and talk about it now. Um, I was nervous. I was like, okay, they're taking my blood work. I want to know everything's fine, and uh, I was just it was the whole me not knowing everything was fine. You know, I just wanted to know. And I wait and wait. And like three days later, they finally call me and they're like, okay, you can schedule an appointment for a week later. We can do an ultrasound. And I'm like, is everything okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything okay. Yeah. And she's very like, it was like at the end of the day, you could tell she just wanted to get home. And she was like over it. And uh, I was like, okay. And uh, I was like, did my blood work come back good or anything like that? And she's like, well, you, we need 10,000 quads for them to see the baby on the ultrasound. And you have 22,000. And I'm like, okay, I have no clue what that means. And uh, so she transferred me and I set my appointment for June 11th. And I go in for the ultrasound June 11th. So in my eyes, I'm thinking, okay, if I have, I need 10,000 for the baby to register. You're saying I'm five weeks and I'm due in January. So would that mean I am actually further along and I am going on like, nine weeks and what's going on <laughs> why is there twenty two thousand? i only need ten thousand. <laughs> so i don't know but there's a good chance maybe could there be twins i don't know i don't know either and glenn keeps telling me he's like everywhere i read anything if it was bad they would say you need to come in now not schedule you a week later you know so um they just keep saying that to see the baby on the ultrasound you have to have ten thousand quads so 10,000 for it to register on the sonogram, I guess, or whatever they do. I need 10,000. I got 22,000. So maybe I got two of them in there and they're registering 22,000 or I got a bigger baby than what they think. So I don't know. We'll find out the 11th. I've been kind of upset about that. And I'm like, what's that mean? <laughs> 
my mom seems to think I am further along. She's like, when I first told her I was pregnant, she's like, you're further along. Because if you watch my video, I was having the same symptoms in April as I am now. So that would mean I'm two months instead of just a month. So there's a good chance, but I had a full on period in April and I'm like, could that just been like my whole body is like, okay, we're going to give you a period and then hold up. You're not supposed to have a period, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so uh, I've seen some people, you know, they've said that they've had periods and uh, then they're still pregnant. So I don't know. We don't know. I just know I'm for sure pregnant and I got 22,000. So got some raging hormones there. <laughs> hello. Hello. Um, I do have a vegan cuts box that came in today. I want to open it with you guys. I haven't even opened it. Um, like I said, the morning sickness has not been fun. So uh, I've been sipping my water. I've been sick off and on all day. It was so funny because, um, hold on. I've been so hungry lately. Okay, so we went. I wanted a hot dog really bad today. I was craving a hot dog. Probably not the best choice, you know, a hot dog. <laughs> Glenn gets me a hot dog. He it literally like orders a hot dog. The guy brings it to the car. And I'm like, okay, you didn't give me a foot long. And he's like, you want a foot long? I'm like, no, 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 this is fine. So he literally puts the car in reverse and is backing up. And he looks over at me. I already have half of it ate. And time we get out of the parking lot, I've already got the whole thing ate. <laughs> and then within like 10 minutes, I'm throwing up. <laughs> so it's been, it's been real today. I've heard that too. You can get pregnant on your period. See, I'm just, I'm up and I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm just a basket case right now. Cause I'm like, is everything okay? Why do I have 22,000? I just need 10,000. But, you know, I, Glenn keeps reassuring me. He's like, if anything was wrong, they would have you come in sooner. They won't make you wait a whole nother week. And um, I played back because I did record when she called. And he's like, she just sounds like she just did not want to be working that day. Or it was the end of the day and she was ready to go home. Because she's ready to pass me off and get me scheduled in for my appointment. So, who knows? Um <sighs> I don't know, but uh, I've got 22,000, whatever that means. <laughs> so uh, who knows? We're going to get right into this. I do have this little, oh, I want to show you guys this. I don't know where I found this. At. I found it in my closet. It is a um, package opener, and it comes in very, very handy to open your packages for anything. So I have my vegan cuts. Maybe I'm not going to be able to open it with this because this looks a little too big to get in. Oh, we got it. Yeah, it works perfect. Okay. My vegan cuts came in today. And I'm like, oh, I got to show you guys. I want to unbox it with you guys. Look how cute. As soon as you open it. Got your little woof. And it's got all of your products on the back. Kind of does like Ipsy does. Same thing. Got all your information about your products and everything on the back of your little card. And it's a really cute little card. And um, this is the makeup box for vegan cuts. I do have a $5 code. If you want to save $5 off on your box, it's Miss Pat, M-Z-P-A-T. And I have all the information down in the description of all my videos if you want to check it out and get your box. Oh, look. look how pretty that is. It's just so pretty. I don't take too much to fascinate me. <laughs> it's really pretty. Okay, so we're going to dig right in here. Ooh, I see a palette. I see a palette. Okay, I'm going to just set all this to the side so we don't get all this paper everywhere. But, ooh, I'm digging out all kinds of stuff. I got the little dog running over here thinking I got food. Okay, I'm just setting everything out. We ain't even looking at it. Okay, ooh, I ain't looking at it. We're going to look at it together. Okay, first off, I want to look at these. This is stickers, nail art stickers. How they know I was getting into nails? How did they know I was starting to get into nails? We got some nail stick or nail art stickers. That's kind of cute. They're different. Again, let me see. It's different. I want to look at this right here. This is what's got my eye. Christine, you're here. I'm gonna pop some bubbles for you. There we go. Yay, Kelly! I'm so happy for you. Guys, make sure you check out Kelly's page, her YouTube channel. She does unboxings and reviews as well. Congratulations, girl. I'm sitting here just popping away for you, Christine. <laughs> okay, so here's what we have. 
we have the poolside. Ooh, I think I've done a spoiler on this one time. It's a poolside. Here we go. Oh, it'll slide open. It opens. I always hate this because I'm afraid I'm going to mess this up. And I don't want to mess up my boxes because I like to keep my boxes because I'm a little hoarder. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Cool side. <gasps> Ooh. Now look at that. Hold on. Let me make sure I don't have my mirror showing you guys everything over there. Look at that. We got some pretty shades in there. Yeah, we do. We've got the pool side, pool side. Oh, they have the pool side. Then they got the IBY. <coughs> so some really pretty colors in there. Really pretty shades. Here, let's test a couple of them out. I'm going to do the sunny skies real quick. I want to show you guys all my paperwork. There we go. Oh, look. Instantly. Ooh. <gasps> it is pigmented. Ooh, look at that. It is. I don't want. I don't want to do all these. We'll have to do a review. So I did one for you guys, and let me tell you, that is pretty, really pretty. Isn't that pretty? I really think it is. They are. It is huge. I'm gonna be able to use this for a long time. Do you hear my dog in the background? She's playing with her bone. She's always doing something when we're doing something over here. <laughs> Now I got this. I'm not quite sure. Hold on. We got a paper here. What do I do with it? I can actually talk to you guys about this. Um, the IBY Beauty Poolside Eyeshadow Palette runs twenty dollars. It's twenty. Okay, it's twelve highly pigmented and very blendable shades, free of T A L A C and mineral oil. Ooh. Okay. We also have what is this one right here? Ooh, this is lip balm. And it runs $26. This is lip balm in here. Okay. You got some lip balm. I'm going to get this open. I'm going to use my tweezers. Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll get it open. My nails, I got them at Walmart, as you already know. And I've been using these press-on nails, and it's a cheetah print. I went to Walmart today. I went to two different Walmarts looking for these. And it's like everybody sold out of them after I bought the first pack. And like my first bought them, there's like hundreds of them. I should have bought two packs then. For some reason, it's... Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Wait. It was this way. I got some... Ooh, look how fancy that is. Did you all see that? <laughs> I was sitting here just like, how do I open this? Okay, it opens like this. Here we go. That's your lip balm. Isn't that fancy? That's so fancy. <laughs> I never had lip, lip balm like that. <laughs> okay, so we have the lip balm. This one is 100% natural ingredients. Okay, we got 100% natural. That's one thing I really like about vegan cuts is that I don't have to worry about any of the products I'm using. Like, they're all natural, you know, cruelty-free. So we're actually going to put this on and try it. Mmm. Smells really good. It kind of smells like the hair serum. And the hair serum smells so good. <laughs> I love watching Kelly's uh, videos. She has really good unboxing videos. She really does. Okay, then we also have the Diamond Dust. I'm not going to open that, but well, I guess I'll do a video on all this later on. That's Diamond Dust. And then this one runs $19. It's eyeshadow. It's Rowan eyeshadow. And then this right here is Matte Lipstick. We got some matte lipstick in here, and this runs $30. I mean, you can't see the light. $30. So I'm really, I'm really liking my makeup box this month. Ooh, look at that. Cute little tube. How do we open this? Okay, it's got plastic on it, so might want to take the plastic off first. Ooh. 
<clears throat> well, I was hoping I was going to be able to open this for you guys. I always get on to Glenn because he wants to use his teeth to open things. I'm like, don't do that. I don't know why I was just thinking that, but well, I do know why I was thinking that, because it's what he would do. He'd use his teeth. I'm like, you know, rip the teeth all up. Chip them. Here we go. I'm going to start making some of you guys mods, because I don't know why it is making me approve some of your comments. You're not going to say anything bad. <laughs> okay, here is the Right here, the lipstick. Ooh. Now, now. You know how I feel about my bright red? Now. <laughs> I don't like the bright red. <laughs> Why do all these subscription boxes always want to send bright red? It's like er they think everybody loves bright red. And that is... It smells so good, but it's really bright. <laughs> that is red, red, red. <laughs> Woo! But it's a really pretty uh, container. And um, I just don't prefer the red, red, red. But it smells really good. And it's really, it's really smooth on my lips. It is a matte lipstick, but hold on, it is a Cocoa Butter Matte Lipstick. You think so? I usually don't wear bright, bright red, but it actually feels really, really good on my lips. It really does. <laughs> kind of like it. <laughs> okay, so we're moving on. And that is all that I really got in my makeup box. I do like the beauty box, too. So they have a beauty box and a makeup box. And I just want to show you guys what I got today. I will be doing a full review on it and uh, showing you guys. But that is my first impression because I have not even opened it. As you've seen, we opened it together. I really like this palette. The palette is what the palette has big pans and it's really, really pretty. I really like that. Palette. I can't wait to do looks for that. So I feel like that was a win. Baby, why are you running in here when you think I'm opening something? You think we got food all the time? You think I'm just sitting here eating all day long? <laughs> My little dog. She is cray cray. Okay. So guys, what face mask did you bring tonight? I brought, I do know we was going to have the flamingo party. I had plans on decorating and having the flamingo party. And I had all kinds of like different props and backgrounds and stuff. And I was like... I, I was struggling to get here because, like I said, I was having that morning sickness. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I've been sipping on water, eating ice. I bought a big bag of popsicles. Popsicles is, like, so good right now. And um, I just didn't decorate. I just kind of, I'm here. <laughs> but hopefully next week we can have our flamingo party and uh, have more fun. But I did bring this face mask tonight. I'm going to do the Glow Rose mask. And it's got real rose petals in it. I got this at Big Lots for $2.50. So if you haven't made it to Big Lots yet, I highly recommend going to Big Lots. They have tons of like different face masks. And I was going to bring them out. I have a whole big, huge bag full of face masks. Um, I think I put everything up. I did. But next week, we'll go over all my face masks I got. Um, I do want to show you guys why I have you here. Um, I have two things I want to show you. Like Glenn got me. I actually worked today and took some of my pictures. So it's, it's kind of wrinkled because I kind of took it off. And I was like, oh, I need a rest. It was hot and... Um, he got me, he's really good to me. He really is. <laughs> I have to give him props for that. He's been so excited when we found out he was pregnant. He bought me this shirt. It says, first time mommy. He got this on Amazon. And it's so cute. I wore that today. It's a maternity shirt. And then he got me another shirt. Ooh. Watch me get this red lipstick all over it now since it's white. This is so this is so us. We're getting our fur babies. Oh, what's it say? We're getting our fur babies a pet human. Yeah, he got me that too. Isn't that cute? He done really good. He got me those two. And he's ordering me a um pregnancy pillow, one of those great big huge body pillows. I'm having a horrible time sleeping at night. And um 
We have one of those great big huge bean bags, like those mean Joe bean bags. And I'm always like in the middle of the night and getting down there and like nesting in it. And he's like, we're just going to order you a great big pregnancy pillow because you're going to need it anyway. Yeah, he does pretty good. He really did. Okay. And before I get into my face mask, I want to talk to you guys about this. Um, last Friday, I talked to you guys about the Yenabest sleep caps. And then I had the fur hats. I do have this set up where um, Yana Best and Fur Talk, they're wanting in return for them to give you free products. All you have to do is you had to buy the product. You have to send me the, the uh, screenshot of the order number. And then your PayPal, and they will return the money back to your PayPal if you're wanting one of these. I do have a limited amount that I can do that with, so make sure you ask me first in Instagram. And my Instagram is Miss underscore Patricia underscore Ann, and it's in all my descriptions. But um, you can get a fur hat or a fur hat. You can get a winter hat and then a sleep cap. All you have to do, again, is just message me on Instagram, but they do require you to, um, on, it's on Amazon. You have to buy it yourself. You have to send me a screenshot of your order number, and then you send me your PayPal, and they'll return the money to you because they do that so they can get their Amazon review, and or they just send it to you. You know, you can't review it if you don't, you know, they don't send it to you. Yes, um, I try to message you guys because I work with them and they're able to give me so many products to work with, but um, I'm at the point now where they're wanting reviews on Amazon and you don't have to lie. You give them your honest review on Amazon. So if you don't like it, you just say, hey, I don't like it. And so we're not asking you to lie or do anything like that. I want you to be completely honest in your review. Whew, talking too fast, but they want you to review it through Amazon. So for you to be able to review it for you through Amazon, you have to buy it, but they'll return the money to you. So just message me on Instagram if you're interested again in the winter hat. They're really cute. And then the sleep caps. And you can get them in any colors you want. So it's a win-win. What else do we have? Oh, well, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about this. I forgot to talk to you about this. Um, I have a video up on my channel. I don't know how many of you all are on birth control. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> but if you sign up for, through the pill club, it's called the pill club, you can get your birth control sent like, directly to your house discreetly in a little box or a little baggie like this. And they send you information just like normal on your birth control. And you get, again, you know, like all your information about the birth control. They give you a little piece of chocolate, and you get a sticker every month. And this one says social distancing, social distancing. And then you get your birth control. Make sure none of my information's on there. Yeah, then you just get your birth control. I got three months supply. Obviously, I've been taking it. <laughs> but that's how that works. The pill club is... Um, it's really nice. I've used it for years. I love the pill club. They um, have different forms of birth control that you can go through. You actually, um, your insurance, if you have insurance, it'll cover it. And then you can get your birth control since your house. I do have a video up on it if you want to go check that out. So it's it's really neat. Really neat pill club. Figured I'd throw that in here tonight since we're having girl talk. Um, what else do I get? Oh. Um, so Glenn... <laughs> The other day, I was like, I, I need some more panties because I'm starting to hurt, you know, my belly. I'm swelling out. My panties are a little too tight around my belly. <laughs> so I'm like, just give me, you know, a size eight because I normally wear like a seven. And he gets me a size eight. And he's like, I was going to get you 12s, but I figured you'd slap me. <laughs> and he ends up bringing eights home and they're too tight. So we end up getting the um, these tonight. And they're size 12s, so they actually fit perfect, and they're going to stretch with me. And um, they're not too tight right now. They're kind of loose, but they're going to grow with me, so I'm really appreciative of these. And let me tell you, I never thought in my life I'd be like, oh, my goodness, these are just amazing. <laughs> I've been so uncomfortable lately. Just to have things like this is just making me so much more comfortable. It's helping. And then um, 
I did get me a new maternity bra. I did get me one of them that has the no wire in it. I needed that because I can tell I, my body's changing. My body is changing. <laughs> I need I need stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I went to Walmart today. I'm just jumping all over the place because I got so much to tell you guys. Um, we went to Walmart today and I was looking at their maternity clothes. I was able to find one shirt. Like Walmart has no maternity clothes. Like I am going to have to order all my stuff off Amazon. Like for some reason, our Walmarts just don't have good maternity clothes. But I did find this and it's just a cute little shirt. And you can see it's got the little maternity ruffles on the side to help it stretch. And um, this right here was seven bucks. So it wasn't that bad, but it's just a regular gray shirt because I, I need clothes at this point. And my biggest thing that I need is I need pants because I have a pair of like leggings I don't like to wear, as you can see. Um, and a lot of my pictures is like a jean material leggings and they're really, really comfortable. And since I've been feeling like I'm, you know, getting bigger, they stretch with me and stuff, but I'm getting to the point where it, they're limited time. I've got to get me something else. So I was at Walmart and I was looking in their maternity, like their maternity section and they had some leggings that I got. I was like, okay, these would fit perfect. They're not going to be too hot for summer because I'm going to be pregnant all through the summer and it's already getting hot and miserable. So I go to the bathroom, which I'm sitting here like, I'm just so hot. I've got to change because like today it was just a miserable day. So we went into the bathroom, which I was very clean. When I went into the bathroom. Like I kept my shoes on and like, I was like stepping on my shoes and not letting my clothes touch the floor. I was just very, very cautious. Trust me. And I couldn't get these pants on. I could not get them on at all. So I'm like, Oh God, what am I going to do? <laughs> so I leave the bathroom, put my other pants on. I see Glenn out there and I'm like, Glenn, these is not fit. We, we just got to get a bigger size and exchange them. Walmart is not doing any changes on clothes. Like they're not doing any returns on clothes whatsoever. So you can't return any clothes at all. <laughs> Even if we just bought them, but uh, no, you can't. So a heads up, if you're going to buy clothes at Walmart, don't. <laughs> right now, don't. Just order them online. At least on Amazon, you can send them back. But right now you cannot return any clothing at any Walmart. So, um, I have uh, twenty dollars worth of leggings in my uh, vehicle. Just sitting there. We got a whole bag in our vehicle of Walmart returns because Walmart's not been doing returns. And I'm like, and Glenn's like, well, the time they do returns, we'll have like a little nest egg just to be able to buy a big bunch of diapers. <laughs> so that's a plus to that, I guess. And that's everything I bought at Walmart there. All right, so I think it's time for us to get into our face mask. So let me know what kind of face mask you guys are wearing tonight. This is the one I'm going to be wearing. I got to take all this makeup off. I am feeling a lot better though than I have all day. It's been. And I noticed things that I love the smell of. Like I love coconut before. Guess what? Your girl does not like coconut no more. <laughs> I do not like the smell of coconut. <laughs> it's just not it's very satisfying to me right now. Now we're going to have a little problem with that little hair. Yeah, I know. It's like Glenn, he was a little mouthy with <laughs> mouthy about it. He's like, you're telling me that you can have clothing, people walking around touching it, which I don't think he said this to them, but he said to me, like he was telling me afterwards, he's like, you mean that they can have people walking around the store touching the clothes and they're worried about people not touching it, not giving it Corona, but they're more worried about you and your crotch giving it Corona than people just touching it. <laughs> Even though they won't have the dressing rooms open or nothing. I'm like, well, you know, and I don't know, <laughs> but it's just, I, uh, I don't know. I won't be buying no more clothes at Walmart, which I understand they're trying to be, pre you know, they're being cautious and everything, but it's at that time where they just, I honestly feel like if you're going to, like, what am I supposed to do? What does other women do? You're pregnant. You need to figure out what kind of clothes you, you just can't keep buying and buying and buying when it don't fit you, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, there has to be something that 
can be done or they're going to do so. I don't know. But she was like, no, we have no time frame when we're going to be accepting returns on uh, any um, clothing. Ooh, that lipstick is bright. And I did notice too. I did notice. If you notice, I've always had like where I messed my eyebrows up when I was younger. I decided to just have eyebrows here, but I've been trying to grow them out and I fill them in now. If you notice, since I've been pregnant, this is starting to grow in. It's like, ooh, we're going to start growing now. So that's a benefit of being pregnant. Hello, Kyla. Welcome. We're just now getting into our face mask. We've been sitting here chit-chatting for the past 30 minutes, <laughs> talking about anything and everything I can think of. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys. Whew. Oh, wow. Oh. That's a nice look. I got half my eyebrow. Usually don't take my eyebrows off, but tonight I am. <laughs> they did give me a nausea medicine for what it's called now. But uh you're supposed to only take it like during your first trimester, and I'm like, I think if I can get by without taking it, I'm gonna try to get by without taking it. Well, thank you. I was, the, I was, I'm a trooper because I wasn't going to come on tonight. And I'm like, I've got to, I've got to, because I was feeling pretty bad earlier. <laughs> pretty bad. We've got all the doll faces here tonight. Whew. Whew. I can feel it. It's like. I can feel the sickness approaching. <laughs> did you all have this like during your pregnancies? Like, did you? I have saltines and I like burnt toast. That's helped a lot. Burnt toast. <laughs> Whew. I did have a mole removed a long time ago, and that is a result of having a mole removed. I don't know if you can see it in here or not, but the guy I went to, the surgeon, I swear he butchered me. Like, yeah, I literally had a mole here, and it looked a lot worse, but um, my back looks ten times worse. I'm going to have to start pulling out my saltines, even if I'm just laying in bed at night and just breaking off a little tiny bit each bite. <laughs> I'm going to do something because at nighttime, it's like, I've been pretty lucky. I jinxed myself. I jinxed myself the other day because I was like, oh, I only get morning sickness like at 2.30 3 o'clock in the morning. I can go all day and have a perfect day. Guess what? It's starting to hit during the day now. It's like, I'm going to show you. <laughs> so this is a mask I'm going to use again tonight, guys. And, oh, we don't have our little timer out. Wait, how long is this? This mask is, I'm pretty sure it's 20 minutes. So I should have said this before because I know it's going to, I usually try to set everything right before I get started, but I forgot today. Kyla, what kind of mask are you using tonight? Oh, we didn't bring our what? Should have brought me a towel. I always forget to bring me a towel during this. Oh, good thing. I gave me a towel right here. I'm excited to see what this mask is all about. Ooh, look inside. Oh, watch me spill it everywhere. Here we go. Ooh, I can see the real rose petals. Ooh, it's dripping. Ooh, it's dripping. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I always get myself into this mess. I should literally just put a towel all over me. Okay, here we go. This one's going to be messy. Very messy. Can you see it just dripping? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I got a dog trying to climb up my legs. Baby, quit. What are you doing down there? She just sat here staring at me. <laughs> I wish you all could see her. It's so cute. Quit. Get away. No. I got to get this slimy thing on. This is not going to be one I like. I'm never getting these. I don't know. I may like it after all. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. It smells really, really good. 
It does smell really good. Get, get that. It's just extremely a lot popsicles. This is awful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start doing clay mask or something because this is not. This is a big mask. Like normally, the mask fit me pretty good. This one's just. I will not be getting these again. You know, the sad thing is, I got like three of them in my closet. Cause I seen the real rose petals. I'm like, oh yeah, I need that in my life. Guess what? I don't. Oof. This would be horrible if I had to throw up right now. I'd be. I would be trapped inside this face mask. <laughs> Okay, this is definitely not something I am enjoying tonight. You can tell it's just, it's not made good, I guess. Like, the openings is not even got. I had to really stretch out myself. Yeah, this is not a good brand. Y'all ever have problems with your face mask like this? <laughs> okay, so this one here is what I'm using tonight. I got it at Big Lots. I was just talking you up, <laughs> and it's uh, not, not, I don't like it. You're not like it at all. This is horrible. It's supposed to be a good man. Oh, let me set this timer. Yeah, I'm not very pleased with this one at all. You can tell it's not. I don't think it's made right. Like the holes is not big enough for your eyes. You got this oversized nose. And then your mouth, you should have to stretch it out. So. It's not. The best one's gonna roll. We're just gonna make do though. That's how it stays on. Whoo we okay. So Christine, I seen that you I seen I seen something where you said in the title of your video you was going to Dollar Tree. I don't know if you made a video of it. I'm pretty sure because like that was probably at the point in time like I was puking my guts up. But I remember seeing something. Did you go to Dollar Tree today and find some good finds? Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be nine months of this. Hey, baby, come in here. You want to say, oh, what? Well, why are you got knots in your head? Quit bouncing like that. Look at my little baby. She want to come say, hey. They're right there. Look, no, they're right there. Where are you looking at? They're over there. They're over there. Look. Right there. That's them. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't act. Why are you doing that? Well, you're just going to sit here then and chill out. Because you're like you don't want to go back down. She has been, she has been crazy lately acting. Hello, <laughs> Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Um, no, I touched the door. I need to wipe my hands off. Um, first of all, my face mask. Is um, not a very good quality face mask tonight. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> oh. The one that I um, decided to use was the rose petal face mask. And as you can see, it's not doing me too well tonight. <laughs> here, baby, you got to go somewhere. You can't move here with us. Go on your pillow. Whew.
I'm telling you, I feel like I got a beard. This stuff is not. It's just not my favorite mask of all time. Like, everyone who made it did not make the holes right. There's not. It's not good enough. Ow. <laughs> it's not working for me. And I got 16 minutes left. I am going to be giving away in the future another Israel box. So y'all need to stay tuned for that. I just got an email for that today. That I'm going to be get, doing that giveaway here in the near future. Normally I like to do Face Mask Friday giveaways. But um, we just had a lot going on this week. I'm behind on videos. And it's been a crazy week. And I, it's going to be a little behind now that I'm pregnant. Because I don't know when I'm going to feel like... Uh, editing and all that stuff but uh i do have the appointment next thursday so i will be get out somehow i'll keep y'all updated probably you'll probably hear about next friday <laughs> during face mask friday so chelsea did you bring your face mask did you bring your face mask for our face mask friday party oh i do oh I didn't even show you guys. I have plans on having the flamingo party this week. I did have plans. As you can see, I was prepared, but it just didn't happen. Next week is definitely the flamingo party, so be prepared to flamingo. I did get that at Dollar Tree, by the way. Isn't that so cute for a dollar at Dollar Tree? Uh, Chiba, when are you going to come back on What's the Plan with Miss Patricia Ann? I know I have uh, Christine. We still need to get you back on there. We still got to get Kyla back on there. And I hate to sit here and plan a day when I'm like, okay, let's do that. And then it ends up being a day where I'm just not filling up to it. Maybe if pick a day. Chelsea, what are you doing today? <laughs> oh, I am telling you, I'm just disappointed in myself. I'm so disappointed that I got this face mask. I picked it out because I don't, I'm not enjoying it at all. I'm just sitting here like, is this over yet? I got 14 more minutes. I'm just not feeling this sucker tonight at all. I know you just tell me you did. I seen the pictures. It's pretty cool. I am excited that um, I finally announced on Facebook today. I finally announced that we're pregnant. I've been waiting till I had like a sonogram or something. And I wanted to know, actually know how far along I am. Because right now, I have no clue how far along I am. Like people say, oh, how far along? Are I? I don't know. <laughs> That's horrible. But I'm either, like I said, five going on six weeks or I'm nine going on 10. So, I mean, who knows? And it's, uh, I, w I was getting popsicles at Kroger's today and I wore that shirt the first time mommy. And there's so many women stopped me. They're just like, Oh, congratulations. How far along are you? I'm just like, I'm, I'm five weeks. I mean, that's, I, that's the only thing I know for sure right now is that I'm at least five weeks. So, I mean, I, I guess I just say that. And then, um, we had really a boring day today. We just went out. We I wanted to get pictures because I've been putting it off. I'm like, I want to get pictures to announce that, you know, we're having a baby. And uh, you guys knew before my Facebook and other family knew. <laughs> so I uh, tried to tell you guys. I ended up telling you guys more than I should during our Face Mask Fridays. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, you guys are here. And we became, like, friends. And we're, you know, the Doll Face Squad. And we talk every Friday. So, I mean... It's hard to keep things from you guys. So. Next time you see me pull out one of these masks. Tell me no girl. No. <laughs> this is horrible. I hate this mask. I'm trying to think of what else we have. Around here that I was going to talk to you guys about. Oh. I do have something I was going to talk to you guys about. So. Do you ever go to Dollar Tree. And you see Dollar Tree pregnancy test. And. 
a lot of people I've seen say, don't buy the Dollar Tree pregnancy test. They don't work and all this stuff. And I'm like, it's a pregnancy test. Well, here's a test of time now. I'm pregnant. We're going to see if we get pregnancy results on these. <laughs> it's the best time to test them because we know we're not going to get it wrong. We're supposed to get negative. So if we get a negative, we know something's wrong. So I'm going to be doing a video on, is Dollar Tree pregnancy test really worth a dollar? Do they give accurate results or not? So we shall see. I got two different kinds. And it's so funny because the guy was just like, when I asked for a pregnancy test, he was just like looking at me like, why are you getting these? <laughs> and I even looked at him. I was like, uh, I've already, I've already found out I'm pregnant. I just want to make sure. <laughs> he just got to give me the weirdest look. <laughs> You don't like my face mask? I just got 10 more minutes left. Whew. And then I finally got on, uh, I did get on Amazon and I started looking. Um, well, I seen if you sign up for Amazon, well, first of all, let me backtrack. I signed up for that pregnancy app on my phone. Where's my phone at? Here it is. And um, I signed up for this pregnancy app. Let me sign in and show you. Oh, guess what? I can't even get into my phone because it's not rushed. It don't even know who I am. That's sad. <laughs> um, it's what to expect as a pregnancy app. Right here is. Would you get away from my stuff? Quit chewing on my bra. I just got. What's wrong with you? Chillin' tag. Here's my pregnancy app. Hold on. Let me see if I can show you guys. Maybe we could show you. This light. Let's turn off. That don't help either. Oh, there you go. There's pregnancy week. Five weeks and six days. And it says, my baby is as big as an orange seed. But if we move to nine weeks... My baby is as big as a green olive. So that's a big difference. An orange seed and a green olive. So either I have an orange seed in here or I got a green olive. And we don't know. This is. <sighs> so my due date would be January the 3rd, which is, which is weird because um, one of my best friends, her birthday is January 30th. So my due date is January 30th. What's the odds of that, right? And if I am nine weeks, I'd be probably like December 30th or something. And my birthday's Christmas Eve. So would it be weird if I had a baby? Like, I really don't want to have a baby on Christmas Eve or Christmas. Not because it's my birthday, but because I know how horrible it is to have a birthday on Christmas Eve and Christmas. Because you get ripped off. You can't have birthday parties. You can't. You don't get... Like, everybody always said, like my parents did, they was always giving me, here's your birthday, and then here's your Christmas. But a lot of people would combine my birthday and Christmas together. I didn't ever get a birthday party. So I'm like, I want my baby's birthday to be not on a holiday. And Glenn's sitting here like, New Year's baby, New Year's baby. I'm like, no, I don't want to have a holiday. I know what it's like to have your birthday on a holiday. I don't want that. <laughs> my baby needs to have its own special day, you know? And uh, that's what I'm really hoping. And he's like, well, you know, if it happens, I'm like, I'm going to cross my leg. It's not happening. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, you do get shot on, uh, like, if their birthday is like, if their birthday is like the 27th or 28th, that'd be awesome. I just don't want their birthday. Well, not really. Because then everybody's still going to be like, oh, here's your birthday. It's, you know, January 30th, at least we're past the holidays. So I don't know. I just... I know what it's like to have a birthday on the holidays. And I just don't want, I just don't want a baby to go through that too. Cause I didn't get to have my birthday parties and people come to my birthday and stuff because it's on Christmas Eve, you know? Uh, well, anyway, the moral story was I signed up for, let me show you. I signed up for this app, which tells me the progress of my baby and tells me what to expect and everything. Even though it doesn't tell me what the damn quads is, what 22,000 means. So we're still in the dark about that. But, um, it tells me that I'm going to have frequent urination. Guess what? I got that. You're going to have fatigue. Guess what? I got that too. Heartburn. <laughs> I got the heartburn. Trust me, I got the heartburn really good. 
bloating and gas. We got that too. And constipation. Yeah, we got all the signs. So guess what? We're officially pregnant. <laughs> and um, yeah, we got every bit of that. Um, anyway, I, when I sign up for this app, it tells me that if I sign up, the first trimester moms get free gifts. If you sign up on Amazon, you know, you register, you know, pregnancy registry and all that stuff. So I signed up for my Amazon registry. And I was going through and looking at all these different things that you can add to your little thing for, you know, to get for your baby and stuff. And uh, I was like, we need to get this, this, and this. And he's like, are you going to get, like, pink or blue, whatever the baby? I'm like, no. I don't want to get, like, I know a lot of people, like, when they found out they have a little girl, they want to get, like, pink strollers and all that. Like, I would like to do that, but I don't want to because I know that I want more kids. So if I have a little girl or a little boy, I, I still want to get like their car seats and their strollers. I want to get stuff like is a neutral color, like a unisex color, because I want it to be able to be, I mean, if you're going to spend $200 for a stroller, you might as well just get a black or charcoal one and be able to use it for your other kids. Not just get a pink one and then you have a boy and you're like, well, I can't use this now, you know? Oh, well, thank you so much. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just sitting here rambling. Or we're waiting for our face mask. Hopefully you wrote your face mask. You're going to not turn out like mine did. Because mine is horrible tonight. Well, we have decided that we're going to get engaged. And, well, we've been talking about being engaged for a while. And we're wanting to... We're going to try... Try to get married before the baby's here. We've been talking about it. We have. Because we've just been kind of... Uh, we both know that we want to spend the rest of our lives together. We really do. And, of course, we've been house shopping and, you know, all that stuff. But uh, we just... We never really... We just always thought, you know, we had more time. Even though we were still trying. Because we felt like it was just kind of like... It's never going to happen. Which he keeps saying he knew it was going to eventually happen. I was sitting here like... I'm never going to have a baby. <laughs> But finally I am. And uh, we're sitting here. We're like, um, we want to have, we want to, we want to try to get married before the baby's here. Definitely. And uh, we're trying to get more motivated now, which we've been motivated on getting a house built down there on the property or figuring out what we're going to do. I feel like now we're more, we're more time crunched and we're like, okay, this time to get in gear. <laughs> Hello, Annie. How are you? You're our last uh, last Friday's winner of the Israel Pack. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Make sure you tell me when you get your Israel Pack in. They sent me all the information where they said that they, sh they shipped it to you and you should be getting it. So let me know when you get it in. Because if you don't get it in soon, I'll message them and be like, where's her Israel Pack at? <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Whew. I do know that since I've been taking my prenatals, I've had a lot more energy. Because today was the first day I started taking them. And the uh, past couple of days, I've just been struggling. Like, ugh, I don't have no energy. <laughs> but now I finally have a little bit more energy. Probably a little bit too much pep in my step. <laughs> Ooh, cannot wait. Three more minutes. Can you believe I've stayed here for 20 minutes of this thing on my face peeling off? I look like one of these creatures that's or their skin's just going to come off. Yes, I did. I actually have it saved. They, I think they, they featured me in it. I think I'm like six or seven in it. Were we saying that? Sh shake, shoot, shoo, whatever it's called. I can't pronounce it. Ooh. I'm telling you, I ended up finishing all those olives that came in that Israel pack. I ended up eating all that. I ate all of the tomato paste. I love that. Um, my soap, I have been using the, that soap. Actually, I've been using the heck out of that soap every time I take a shower. I, I love that soap. It lathers up really good. It smells really good. And uh, the lotion, I have not been using the lotion like I should, but I did use it a couple times. Um, Pot holder, I have it actually still in this box because I'm like, I'm gonna take it to my new house when I get my house built. And uh, what else I get? Oh, the little bowl for the olives. I didn't want to use it yet either. I want to put it on like 
like a little appetizer tray or something. The, oh, let me see. The olives, I'm telling you, I love the olives. I just wish they had sent me another big, like a crate full of these olives. This is really good. <laughs> I really did like the olives. I know it's it's a really nice pot holder. I loved it. I was like, that's going in my stash for my new house because I already got pots and pans and everything ready for when we get our house built. And uh, oh, we actually had the house where we're living at now. The house well, I live with my mom, and she owns her house. So the house next door came up for sale, but I end up buying land behind my mom. So I have two lots behind my mom. I bought and the house next door came up for sale. So we went and uh, it was a lot of different reasons why the house went up for sale and we won't get into all that. But uh, I end up, uh, first of all, the word was that the house was going into foreclosure and auction. So I contacted my realtor let me tell you how shady my realtor is. So I contact my realtor about the house next door. I contact her. I'm like, as soon as I found out. And uh, I was like, hey, the house next door is, they're getting ready, you know, it's getting ready to happen. The bank's getting ready to take it over and all this stuff. And we heard it from the owner. <laughs> and, well, we heard it from the neighbor that said they heard it from the owner. And they're a really reliable source. So uh, can you check into this for me? I want to be the first one because it's next to my mom. I want to get the house and it's ran down. It's, oops. it's ran down. It's not kept up and it'd be a decent price. It could be a fixer upper. We could put a little bit of money into it, stay there temporarily home while we have the baby. And then we could still build down there, you know, and not be in debt too much because the house is an A-frame. It's a smaller house. It's not even a thousand square foot. And it's just got two bedrooms and two baths. And it's just ran down really bad. So we should be able to get it really cheap. Plus, it's in foreclosure and auction, you know. So I tell my realtor all this. She's like, well, who owns it? I tell her the names. Of, I know his mom. Small world. Oh, okay. I was like, well, can you find out about it for me? And um, I made the biggest mistake by getting her involved because she didn't message me back no more. And then finally, she messaged me back. And she's like... Yeah, they they decided they're going to sell it. I was like, well, how much are they going to sell it for? Because she waited so long. I knew at that point in time she has flipped on me. She is now for them. And uh, even though we've worked with her for months, and she's supposed to be my realtor. <laughs> and uh, she's like, they don't know a price yet. And I'm sitting here like, they had the house for sale like three or four months ago. Uh, they literally had a sign out there facing our house, probably thinking that we had buy it. And we wasn't interested in it at the time because we just figured that, you know, it's going to be way too much until we heard what we heard. <laughs> so, um, I'm saying, like, they don't know the price, but they had their house for sale. Okay. That's, okay. Maybe they just don't know the price for me because they don't like me <laughs> and they want me to pay way godly for a house. They don't know. So, um, she finally messages me back. No, she don't message me, message me back. I wait two days and I message her. What's the price on the house? Oh, they're supposed to get with me and we're supposed to meet the following Monday. And I'll let you know as soon as I know something. Okay, Monday comes. Oh, well, we're supposed to meet Tuesday. Okay. How much is this house going to be? <laughs> Finally, she tells me how much this house is going to be. Okay. Let me tell you something. This house. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice because I think they're subscribed to my YouTube channel too. <laughs> um. Let me just say, we ended up going and touring this house. There is nails this high off the boards on this porch, on every board. Um, the whole back porch would have to be ripped off. The whole front porch would have to be ripped off. We could not get a first-time owner or homeowner's loan on this house. There is, the dogs chewed up the steps all the way upstairs. And the, they literally took all the doorknobs off their doors. Like in the kitchen, there's no doorknobs. Because at my, my personal opinion, which if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but this is how I felt. <laughs> um, I felt like they was just kind of like taking everything out of the house and they didn't have plans on selling it. But um, here I come along 
opening the door to all this. And then my realtor tells me, I just took over this house and it's now my listing too. So you're my client and they're my client, but I'm not going to be behind us. And I'm going to work with both of you all. I'm like, sure you are. <laughs> Cause you're, you're going to get commission if they sell that house. And uh, it's just, it's been horrible. So that's the situation we've been into with that. And trust me, there's a lot more. I just don't feel like I should tell right now. Cause like I said, they, I know one of them watches my YouTube channel. So <laughs> I'm trying to be nice, but uh Pretty much, they don't like me, I don't think. And they know that we're interested in the house. So they're trying to get way more than it's worth thinking that we'll pay way more because of the location. But I would rather pitch a tent in my yard than pay for that house. <laughs> so it was, it was bad. Anyway. How, oh, I can take this off. Why am I sitting here playing with it? I've been sitting here, I was, getting, I was getting all anxious sitting here talking about that. I'm just happy to take that stuff off. Yeah, I know. And like, she literally was telling us like on that porch over there, she's like, well, they're my clients, but you're also my clients. So I can tell you they're what they would probably go to, but I can't tell you, you know, their bottom number because that's, you know, I'm, you know, that's for them, but I can't, you know. We gave her her offer, and she's like, oh, no, no, that's too low. They won't take that. <laughs> like, okay. She won't even put our offer in. And I'm like, if they're getting ready to lose the house, they should be happy to take anything they, want, they can get. <laughs> and our offer was actually really, really generous considering everything. Like, the whole house would have to be redone. Like the bathroom. Like, okay, first, you see that green on my shower? I hate that. But anyway, that's how the house was when we got it. Um, you see the green? That's the actual bathtub. They don't have that. Like they have the bathtub set. Like they have the bathtub in the wall. But there's no dry, like the drywall is not finished. And the whole like shower is exposed. And it's like drywall, brand new drywall. And it's like, well, not brand new. And it's, like, not finished. So, the whole bathroom needs to be redone. Um, there's holes everywhere. <laughs> it was just, it was bad. And, like, some of the outlets didn't even have, like, outlet covers on them. Like, they were just exposed wires. And then, then, I didn't even get to tell you this. I'm getting all anxious. <laughs> getting all anxious. Um, the hot water tank is rented. How that works, I don't know. But they had clothes hanging on their hot water tank. They had clothes hanging on a hot water tank. And close all the way around it in the floor. Like, that is dangerous. I'm so OCD. I was terrified when I seen it. I'm like, why are they doing this? <laughs> Move your clothes. Don't put it on the hot water tank. <laughs> yeah. So it's just been horrible. So we probably will not be getting that house. And then, um, funny, funny, funny situation is the very same night I seen a house for sale two minutes away from us. A really nice house, ready to move in, spectacular house, loved it. I messaged the realtor just to see her loyalty with me. I messaged her and I said, um, can you set up a viewing for us to see this house? And it's right down the road. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I, it, can you do it tomorrow? I was like, yeah, Glenn gets off work anytime after six. She's like, perfect. It's about three o'clock the next day. And I'm like, hey, did you set up an appointment for us to see this house? And it's the day of the appointment we're supposed to be having. They sold the house. They already sold it. They got an offer in. We just drove by there tonight, and there's still a for sale sign in the driveway. Really? If they got an offer and they took it, then why is the for sale sign still in the yard? Yeah, they rented the hot water tank. Who does that? I've never heard of that. How do you rent a hot water tank? Like she's telling us, she's like, oh, the hot water tank's rented. Does that mean they take their hot water tank with them? Or do we continue renting it? What, what do we do there? <laughs> and they're taking all their appliances, which they, they can take them anyway because they're all outdated. But it's just not a very good situation. Yes, please. Thank you, Christine. Oh, So that has been our journey lately. And um, it's been real. We did get a good approval rate with a mortgage company on getting a house. Um, 
to, to buy a house. We got a really good interest rate. We got a very good approval price that we can, you know, spend up to. Which do we want to spend up to that and have a bigger payment? No, <laughs> but uh, we found a decent amount that we can. Uh, we have a comfortable spot, and whew, let me get some water. Um, let me talk to you about that. Um, getting a construction loan. Your girl bought property. Your girl spent twenty thousand dollars for property. To find out that it's almost impossible to build on it. <laughs> Apparently, when I bought my property, it's, I knew it was kind of like near a flood zone. Well, it's considered in a flood zone. So um, it's going to be high risk. And banks see that as high risk to loan money. So the interest rate is sky high. Our down payment is at least $20,000. And we got $2,000. <laughs> so um, we're not quite sure how we're going to pull this off. <laughs> and um, apparently with the COVID and everything, uh, construction loans is a lot more high risk. We found that out too through the mortgage company. Um Construction roads, construction roads, construction loans in general are apparently high, high risk. And uh, they they like to start you out at a fixed rate. And then once your house is built, guess what they do? They put you on an arm rate. So as soon as your house is built, they switch you to an arm rate. And you're used to paying like 3.5%. And then you're up to like 7% or 8%. And they're like, oh, it only maxes out at 8. 3.5 to 8% is a big damn difference. <laughs> So you're looking at like an $800 house payment to like a $1,700 house payment. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on right now in our world. <laughs> so uh, we have a baby on the way. We're like, what do we do? Because I really don't want to move too far away from my mom. That's my big thing right now. And uh, I would like to live in this subdivision because I'm close to her. She's older. I don't want her to live alone. And then I'm like, we can get the option of uh, building onto this house, but then we're on the same boat. But then it's just, it's different because then she would have to get the loan and her credit's not as good as our credit. So then she's going to have a higher interest payment. And uh, it's just, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Everything's life changing right now because um, we, we've explored every options with the land. We have explored every option. Like we went through, um, the, we went went through the process of getting a Clayton home on there. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all is familiar with Clayton homes. I was in the beginning. I was dead set. I was like, Glenn, I don't want to get a Clayton home because I grew up with my dad being a construction worker. He had his own business. He's self-employed. He done plumbing and electric, and he would get <clears throat> he would get double wides, and he would rebuild them and everything. And back in the nineties, double wides was not that nice. And in my mind, I had never been in a double wide besides the ones my dad built or you know redone. They they get damaged and he redo them. So I when Glenn mentioned it to me, he's like, "Let's get a Clayton." I'm like, "I don't want to live in a double wide, no," because I had experienced it. And then he's like, let's just go look at it. He takes me and we go look at double wides. I have logs up of this, by the way. And those double wides is so pretty. It's like they're prettier than most houses. These double wides in this time is amazing. Like they have these great big garden tubs. You walk into them, it looks like how they look like mansions. Like in magazines, Clay and Holmes does. And, um, and never in my life did I ever think that a Clayton home would look so nice inside. And uh, times has changed, I guess, from the last time I'd ever been in one. So he got me on board. He got me on board. I'm like, let's get a Clayton home. Let's get one. I picked one out. I'm like, ooh, I like this one. And uh, I fell in love with it. It's called a Kenshaw. And uh, they actually have a lot model on sale right now. It's originally 158000 And they got it on sale for 134000 Well, this is where they get you. That is just the house and the furniture, obviously, because it's a lot model. Um, you got to pay for them to move it. 
you got to pay for all these extra little hidden fees and you're back up to 160. <laughs> but we did run our credit. We did run our credit because I ended up finding another one that had this huge clause that I really wanted. And uh, when we ran our credit and had them do it, we done it through Vanderbilt, which is through Clayton Holmes. And we don't know if we want to, if we, let me get, let me spit out what I was going to say, but Clayton Holmes, we ran it through Vanderbilt and they ended up coming back to us. It was like $80,000 and I have to refine it. Like I had to finance my land into it a little bit. I have like, oh, like a little bit on my land. And then I need to, you know, put in like my water tap and stuff like that. And, uh, time they got done with me, I was looking at like a $120,000 loan and that double wide was like 80,000. And, um, my loan, my amount was like a thousand dollars a month. Like I needed like five thirty, five something bi-weekly. And I'm like, that was a lot of money a month. <laughs> and, um, cause we're wanting to stay around, um, $800 a month, which guess what? We got approved for 150,000. And we can get a house for $150,000. It's already pre-built for $800 a month. Isn't that nice? But then we can't get a double wide for $80,000 without being $1,000 a month. So it's just, apparently double wides, they do not have deeds. They have titles like vehicles. That's where they hurt you at. Then they have, you can't get a 30-year loan. You only get like a 23-year loan. Then... You're sitting there and it's just the interest rate. You can't get a 3.5% interest rate that we got for a regular house. They're wanting to stick you at like 7.5 interest rate. So that's why the higher payment. And, um, but you know, the thing is, I sit here and I'm like, we might as well just get a Clayton home down there in a property and see buying a house next door. Cause we can get a Clayton home, a really nice one for the same price we offered on that house over there. And we'd still have to fix that house up over there. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but I am back into looking at Clayton Holmes again. <laughs> Cause I'm like, uh, Clayton Holmes is really nice. You can always add on to them too. And I've got enough property where I can set it, you know, up a little further and I can build addition on it if I want to later. You just can't build up on a clay, like on a double wide, you can't build up, but you can build, you know, on sides. So <sighs> it's just, it's, I don't know what we're going to do. But uh, we either have eight months or seven months to figure it out. <laughs> and uh, deep down, I'm terrified because I don't know what the hell those quads mean. And uh, I just, I want to make sure everything's okay. And I think that's why I've been a little bit stressed out lately. Because I'm like, the quads, I want to know what that means, you know? So, oh, Oh, uh, okay, Christine. I know. I'm getting ready to head to bed, too. I got to get a shower, and uh, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me on Face Mask Friday, and I know it was a little boring tonight. We just kind of jumped over and talked about everything, but I'm just happy I made it, because let me tell you, it's been, it's been rough today. <laughs> Whew. We still have four of you guys here. Who's all here? Let me tell you good night before I head to bed. Hey, my face. You know what? I thought that I would end up having, because you know a lot of women say they break out and stuff when they're pregnant. I've not really had that much break. My my skin's actually got a lot, a lot clear, like clearer and like smoother since I've been pregnant. <laughs> is it breaking out? Which wait, here, right? Is that a little breakout right there? No, I don't think it is. I don't know what it is. Bye, Christine. Whew. I am. Um, I'm getting there. Whew. Okay, so I think that's all we had to talk about tonight. Um, I'm trying to think, I had, had I knew I had something on my mind I wanted to talk to you guys about when I had you here. I was like, oh, I'll talk to him Face Mask Friday, and now I can't remember what in the heck it was. Um, I don't know now. Maybe I'll remember, and I'll definitely write it down. Then we can talk about it next Face Mask Friday. I do have two spoilers up. I did the Boxy Charm and Glossy Box. So if you're interested in those, there's two spoilers up on my channel right now for those. Um, I have a video that I edited and I'm getting ready to upload. It'll be, it's actually scheduled to upload at six o'clock in the morning. Um, maybe six thirty, seven o'clock around that time. It's, um, 
girl talk and I'm doing like a little mukbang. We're talking and it's before I found out I was pregnant and I had all the symptoms of me being pregnant and it, it was just interesting. Like I wasn't going to upload it. And I'm like, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting to sit back and know that mentally I did not know I was pregnant and I can sit here and see now that's all the signs I had that I was pregnant because I was swelling and it just, it's fun to watch. So um, I do have that video uploading at six or seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I did have a lot of people ask me, they're like, you did this nineties makeup and the whole uh, test of time and you're pregnant and you're using all that makeup. Well, first of all, I did not know I was pregnant when I recorded that it was pre-recorded and it is finally all up. I think I have one more episode of that left that has been, it's been pre-recorded. So you don't have to worry. I'm not putting all those horrible toxins of old expired makeup on me. Now that I know I'm pregnant, like I did not know at the time I was pregnant. So <laughs> it's not like I didn't do it intentionally. <laughs> so um, it was fun. It was fun doing the test of time. And after I'm going to save it all. And then after I have the baby, we'll eventually do a revamp of all that makeup and see if we can like bring it back to life and get to work again. And I think that'd be fun. Um, I actually found in my closet another box full of old makeup. And um, I have, I still have my big bunch of Ipsies. I got to get recorded for you guys. I have a lot of Ipsies I want to go through and test out. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I did talk to my doctor about makeup and certain makeup products I can use when I'm pregnant. And they said, don't worry about it. Just use, you know, your normal products that you've been using. Just don't get your hair done and all that stuff without having ventilation. And uh, so anytime I put like, I don't wear perfumes too much because my allergies anyway, lately in this time of year. And I've not been taking my Claritins, but they said I could take my Claritins. I'm like, the less I take, I think I'd be better off. Oh, thank you. This is my little, um, my little makeup thing I put on. I actually forgot I had that on. I put that on for when I do my face. My bangs is still horrible for when that lady cut my hair, but it don't look too bad. I mean, my hair could look worse, but I got to wash it tonight. All right, guys. I appreciate you all coming to Face Mask Friday with me, party number five. And, um, I'm going to post sometime this upcoming week of Q and A's or stuff you want me to do. Like maybe I'll find some like do it yourself, like face mask. I did one week, which was that I think it was face mask party number two or three. I think it was three that I did a DIY face mask out of a banana, honey and lemon juice. And let me tell you, that was relaxing. So I'm going to try to find other natural face masks that we can do. Good night. I'm so happy that you could join us tonight. And uh, whew, I'm telling you, I am going to go give me a shower and um, hope I can, hopefully I can sleep tonight because I'm telling you, it's not been that fun. <laughs> and we're going to end it on this. <laughs> I posted on Facebook. This is, I was puking my guts up at this time. I posted on Facebook like an hour before I started like throwing my guts up. And uh, I posted on there that, you know, oh, we're expecting, you know, it's our first announcement on Facebook, letting, you know, everybody we know went to school with the, the you know that knows us and uh everybody's like oh i'm so happy for you congratulations and i'm sitting here like throwing up and i'm like in between throw ups and i'm like you didn't like me in high school you're saying congratulations because you know i'm throwing up right now <laughs> so i was in one of those moods <laughs> i was like i know what you're thinking i know exactly what you're thinking you're putting all that hooju on me want me to have the morning sickness and the constipation so but uh, it's, I, I can't say that I'm miserable, miserable because I'm very excited and happy that I'm pregnant. So yeah, the morning sickness and the constipation and the just feeling oozy and ooh is not fun. But at the end of the night, I'm like so happy. So it's worth it. I feel like it is. And uh, just keep me mentally in your thoughts and prayers because I'm, I'm going insane wondering what these quads mean. And uh, the 11th, I will know. So next Friday, we'll be able to talk about it. And hopefully next Friday, I'll have a little sonogram to show you guys. And um, 
we'll see. So until then, I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> so I'll see you guys. My uh, next face mask Friday, that'll be party number six. And that is the flamingo party, but it might be a baby party. Like we may have it like decorated because I'm going to have my first sonogram, hopefully fingers crossed and we'll have fun. And um, I'll celebrate with you guys because again, with COVID and everything, I'm not really going to be able to have like, I don't want to have a baby shower and stuff, you know, with everybody coming around so people can, you know, and we know and stuff can, I don't know. With COVID, it's just changed everything. And um, I'm trying to be really cautious with me pregnant now. And uh, you guys are just going to be experiencing it with me more than anybody. So hope you, hopefully you're ready for this journey. And um, it's going to be, it's going to be a crazy one because um, this is my first rodeo. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my very next video, my next live. And um Stay safe, guys, and when you go out, please still wear your face mask. I'm always wearing mine. I'm always using hand sanitizer, and um, restaurants are starting to open up. We have a – I know I'm just lingering on because I have so much to tell you guys, but uh, we have a pizza buffet around here that opened up, and they're like, you can go – have the you, have, you can come inside and eat, but you got to set, you know, spaced out. But we bring the buffet to you, and Glenn was like, hey, do you want to go? I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I ain't doing that. <laughs> So, uh, just be careful guys. Moral of the story is, is because things are opening up, just be careful because we just don't know. And I want everybody to be safe and I love each and every one of you guys. And I hopefully I'll see you guys back here next Friday on face mask party number six. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye-bye.